Welcome back to Great Day Houston. Houston's social scene, as you know, is always buzzing. There's always a gala, luncheon, or a special event to attend. Our next guest helps women across the city look their best with a modern, sophisticated flair. And here to show us some of her latest designs is designer Becky Hollins. Hi, Becky. Hi, Deborah. Hey, Hi. So your dad is British, your mom is Chinese, so several row meets uh, Silk Road, basically, exactly. in your family. <laughs> but you grew up with a mom who appreciated, like, brands. Yes, luxury. Mm -hmm. Hong Kong was all about luxury brands um, and you know it was so fun because I would always go shopping with her after she picked me up from international school we go have high tea right and we go shopping uh. so I think you know from that you know my fascination of fashion and clothing apparel definitely developed then. But then you moved to the States and went to a private school where you had to wear a uniform. <laughs> yes, actually in Hong Kong, in public school, um, I was in a uniform as well. Uh, you know, uniforms that when I came to the States, I mean uniform again, I've been uniforms all my life. Yeah, all right. And then fashion had always been something, as like you said, it was part of your soul. But when it came to academics, it was hard for you to actually say to your parents, you know what I really want to do? Because you were supposed to be what? Lawyer, doctor, engineer, the whole yes. bit, right? I wanted to create. I wanted yeah. to create art, artwork, and channel, you know, just an idea to something tangible. For me, that was exactly what I wanted to do. Yeah, speaking of artwork, this first dress right here, and talk about creating something, this is so gorgeous, and I, I love the fact that we see things like this, but we don't really understand how it got there. You made this. I did. I mean, I, I'm going to say made this. I don't mean just I the silk design. I it. You silk fatigued it. So yes. that whole design on that silk is what you made. Yeah, it's wax, and then I painted on it, and then took the wax out. So the, the I don't even know how many hours I spent on it. Yeah, this Hand is really done. cool. So it's definitely a one my of a work kind. Of, yes, my work of art. Yeah, turn around for us so we can see kind of the ruching in the back as well, how cute that is. So she looks good coming and going. All right, thank you. There are clothes that we call couture. You say you're not really a couturier. Oh, I will but, not dare. Yeah, I call that, you will not dare. Call but, that. but you kind of do things like couturiers yes, do. I love um, being hands on. I love incorporating handwork, but also movement into my designs. Yeah. But, you know, a lot of um, surface designs that are not available and you cannot find off the rack. Yeah. So you say movement. When she moves around, all these pieces of threads right here kind of flow when you walk in the room. That had to take a lot of time. Yes. Um, if they're all silk and bordery threads, um, it is definitely, you know, a labor of love. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. This is so pretty. Everybody has to have their black dress, but that black dress can come in a million different ways, as Coco Chanel said, right? Yes. Uh, this is very cool here. And, you know, it's a very versatile. I love incorporating versatility into my designs. So this is actually detachable. Yeah. That's a gala, you know, you get your pictures done, and then after dinner, you know, you want to dance. You want to move around, and it's just versatile. Well, it's so cool because you could wear that skirt over a cat suit, over yes. a romper yes. even, and change it up. So um, really easily cool. incorporate it to your wardrobe. Yeah, yeah. I I love this, this neck piece you have here. That is so yes, cool. It's Italian. It is actually plastic. Oh, nice. Plastic, very innovative yeah. materials. I love materials that catch my eye. They're new and you can't, you know, you just don't find, find it out. Yeah, thank you. All right, when you talk about movement, this dress, first of all, just the silk itself moves, but then you have uh, that fringe there. And we certainly know yes. that in Texas, especially fringe is always in. And Leanne Locken actually wore this to the Diffa Gala. And this is the dress that she wore. It's just so beautiful. It's very effortless. Yeah. Okay, and I love turn around there because again, uh, coming and going, so you have some movement back there as well. And you can see a lot of the line. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, thank you. And then looking right here, speaking of that movement of that, that fringe there, you have on that scarf right here that you just have laying on yes. top of your black suit that gives yes. a whole different like look to it. And that. it's unisex, so you can mm -hmm. definitely wear this with like full on suit, t-shirt and jeans. You put it like a stole with a gala down. Yeah. All right, more movement here, feathers. Yes, this is our signature little black dress. It's called the Alexandra, and it's just so versatile. You can wear it anywhere. Yeah, literally. I want you to shimmy for me so I can see those feathers move. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. So but you know, cool. you completely cover it up, but you're modern and chic and sexy, too. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And another version of being covered, but very sexy, covered yes. from the front, so, at least. There's this is a surprise in the back. Right? This is our newest develop, um, design, and this is our jumpsuit. It's actually um, called the SB. It's named after Sarah Beth Bush. Mm -hmm. um, she's my muse. And um, this is our, our signature pant, um, but then oh. we developed it into an actual jumpsuit. Jump suit. But it's okay. very classic. Very Southern Belle with a bow. Yeah, and the halter top, so the bows, you said double bows, actually, and turn around And you're, again, you're covered up, but you yeah. have a little sexy back. Yeah, very good, very pretty. All right, you've designed for, like, 
of course, a lot of Houston's elite as well. Joanne King Herring, who I adore. That woman is just amazing. I adore and her. always steps out in style. Look at that right there. So when you when you have someone who comes to you and says, okay, I need a dress for, how do you start that process? Well, it was so serendipitous. I was at the Women's Home Gala, and I was just starstruck by her. So I walked up and introduced myself. So, you know, I am I am Becky Hollins. I would love to like, be honored to design some for you in the mm -hmm. near future. Two weeks later, um, she called me after I gave her um, a little note on a napkin. I yeah. A napkin. And I know she calls and it she's Becky. Like, I need something. It's a yes. Joanne King herring. She's <laughs> right. like, I need something for ballet ball. And I go, yes, I'm there. So yeah. the purple is just, it was very stand out. Yeah, Carolyn Farb, who we know yes. is kind of the queen of galas. And so you've designed for her as well. And she has this a very unique, cool her. style. Your scarf is yes. named after her. I was um, doing, uh, you know, product development. I was out and she saw this and liked it. And so I was like, you know what? We need to name this after you. Mm -hmm. And so this is a Carolyn scarf. Yeah, Madam Ping Sun. Yes. The most gracious woman I've ever met. Oh, look at that. That is so cool, too. Okay, so obviously you take the event somebody's going to in mind, but you also take into account someone's personality yes. because you want them to be able to feel comfortable in that outfit when they walk yes. into the room. Pings was very, um, like, allowed a lot of movement. She had to greet and shake hands, so she was not restricted with the off the shoulder. Yeah, all right. Do you win or hoon? I think I pronounced Yen that. Win. Okay, yes. there we go. All right. And so taking a look at the picture of the outfit that she has here. But she's also somebody who personality wise. Yes, she's is, very fashion forward. So these are very like low V neck and she's definitely rocked it. Yeah, you've again so many people you've designed for, uh, Beth Mackey, um, Hannah McNair, Leanne Lockett, of course we talked about from Real Housewives of Dallas as well. And then Sarah Beth Bush, you said that she was your muse. What do you mean by muse? Yes, yeah, so um, last year when I was designing her wedding dress. Um, I just took her on as my muse, so I love her style. I developed the jumpsuit from, from her personality, um, and yeah, I just I'm very inspired by my clientele and um, philanthropic, influential women. Yeah, and Laura Speck is another one in the wedding dress uh, area as well. All right, so when again, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. And yes. of course, wedding dresses is a kind of a whole nother moment, isn't it? Yes, Italian embroidery, hand cut, hand done, um, taffeta flowers. I yeah. love handwork. I One grew up kind. early on in, in my early years in Taipei, Taiwan. I always remembered my mom would always get all of her things made. She'd show a picture, and then like by the next day, they'd have it made. And the silks and the and the yes. bright colors were always so amazing. You were featured in Vogue Taiwan, Modern Luxury, yes. Paper City, The Society Diaries, uh, all those mag magazines. But one of the things that's also very important to you is how you can take fashion and make fashion really have a purpose beyond us just wearing it. And that's your philanthropy. Uh, you volunteered at a lot of events, and you believe in not only raising money for but actually FaceTime with a lot of people. Yes, yeah, so you know um, my philanthropic endeavors, you know philanthropy, social awareness, one of the Sacred Heart goals. I went to Sacred Heart School mm -hmm. so um, you know one of the Sacred Heart rule, uh, goals is social awareness which impels to action and it just has been you know all my life instilled in me and you know other, aside from donating to auctions and raising money um, I like to be a servant leader yeah. and volunteer my time. Um, Done that like with Kids Camps, Junior pageant. League, Asia Society, yes. Ronald McDonald House, Big Brothers Big Sisters, and donating exclusive packages for auctions at Big Brothers Big Sisters, the next big yes. thing. You did that as well, which makes you a beautiful person, not only on the outside, but also on the inside. Becky, thank yeah. you very much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful place. Yeah. And Becky is hosting an informal style show at the Junior League of Houston on September 13th. That's from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Reservations are for patrons and members, but if you would like to attend, send an email to info at beckyhollands.com. We have more information on our site, greatdayhouston.com as well.